The first summer of love took place back in 1967. Thousands of young people from across North America made their way to the Haight-Ashbury area of San Francisco to listen to the Grateful Dead and other bands. And the event became a hallmark of cultural and political rebellion. Now, 41 years later, a second summer of love is being planned at two southern Ontario locations. They're designed to attract couples and single women to explore their sexuality with highlights being foam pit parties and naked girl bowling, among other hedonistic experiences. It could be coming to a community whether you like it or not, and that has some critics crying foul. And one of them is Charles McVitie, president of the Canada Family Action Coalition. He joins us in our Toronto bureau, while a lady we're going to call Wendy joins us by telephone. Now, Wendy, you're a spokesperson for these upcoming events. Is it safe to say these events are designed for swingers? Uh, yes, you could definitely say that. Wendy, in at least what w the information we have, this is a an event for couples and single women. Single men are not invited, is that correct? That is correct, yes. So it's really for threesomes and lesbian sex? Um, I wouldn't exactly use the term lesbian. Um, bisexual would be, would be more of a correct term. Okay. What happens at these events? Um, it's, it's surprisingly you don't see much that's out in the open other than what you would see in some ways at... You know, if you had been to a lot of rock concerts, you see, you know, people wanting to, you know, go topless. Um, there won't be any sexual contact out in public. Um, most of that is reserved for, you know, somewhere private. Your tent, your hotel room, your bedroom, wherever that happens to be. So, so this, this is this a is place like an, just to the, for them to meet, to hook up? Pretty much, yes. Yes, it's exactly what it's for. An anything goes types party, because back in the summer of love and back in the 60s, people were exploring their sexuality. There was a lot of innocence mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, love thy neighbor, make love, not war, stuff like that. Do you think you can duplicate something like that here 41 years later? Or is this something completely different where you basically want to get, hook folks up and let them enjoy themselves and have a great time? And you're calling it the summer of love. I guess it'd be somewhere in between the two, that uh, it's designed for people to meet and explore whatever their particular boundaries happen to be. They can go as slow as they want, as fast as they want. That is up to, to their particular um, comfort level and what works for them as a couple as well. I mean, this is something that couples themselves agree on and come with set rules and agenda to follow. And then to take it as well from there and to admit that human beings themselves are, are a very sexual animal and that there's nothing wrong or sinful about that. Now, Charles, in order for you to attend something like this, you'd have to bring your wife, being a member of the, uh, the male species. Um, would you attend something like this if it came to a community near you? Sorry, uh, you know, these, this, uh, what you're hearing is sort of a sanitized version uh, of this. But if you go on their website, you find out what it's really about. And really, it's just common body house. It's a place of public sex. They have this foam party where hundreds of people get into this foam pit and all have sex with each other in a massive orgy. This is criminal well, they behavior. They want, Charles. They, they have well, the choice to not. No, they can no, go no, 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 Mark. Uh, this is is criminal behavior. Oh, this come is, on. Criminal? Yeah, the, the, criminal. The, it is a crime to practice body houses in this country of Canada. But the problem is Actually, we don't no, have... Not. We do not have a government that will take a stand and actually enforce the laws. You can't have a, uh, an orgy with hundreds of people in it and, and, and say it's n it does not go against the criminal code of Canada. It absolutely does. All right, hang on. Wendy, what do you say to that? The Criminal Court of Canada, a club in Montreal called Lorage, was raided uh, quite a few years ago, and the owner took the... Um, took the charges to the Supreme Court of Canada, and they have since ruled that because the adult, everyone is over the age of consent, everyone knows what's going on. They sign a waiver saying that they know exactly what's going on. No money is exchanging hands for the purpose of sex. You are merely paying money to join a private club. Therefore, it's not against the law. It has been stricken from the, the criminal court of 
um, Code of Canada in such that the Supreme Court will not rule in favor of charging someone under this act anymore. There you go, Charles. Well, no, they, I mean, this so is it nonsense. Is not illegal. Because the criminal code expressly states that this type of activity, these massive orgies, are, are truly criminal activity. Whether our judges will enforce it or not, that's another issue. We have a lot of activist judges that believe they're over and above the law. But this is not a summer of love. It's a summer of hate because it breeds a lot of hatred with it. It oh, breaks Charles, down. Where? Where? We, well, it breaks down families. It breaks it down break relationships. Down it, it spreads disease. You get hundreds of people having sex in an orgy. It's disease infested. This is something that is a blight in our society. And it's time our government stand up and charge these people and say enough is enough. You admit it's an orgy. You admit it's a massive uh, pit of sex, and and you but know it's that consenting you know. Adults, though, Charles. No, you know. But Charles, it's consenting adults. Even you have to admit no, that th if two or two hundred or two thousand consenting adults get together and there's nothing criminally wrong with what they're doing, yeah, it may be immoral in your eyes. But no. it's not illegal? No, it's criminal. Section 191 of the Criminal Code of Canada states that it's criminal activity. You, the, 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 our society has not degraded to the point of hatred where, we, where our government propagates this type of activity. And that's why we need a strong government that will say no to this type of stuff and not just allow uh, sort of pseudo clubs to come along right. and circumvent the law okay. you're hearing from from so-called wendy that this is exactly what she says it okay, is hang on this a is an orgy wendy have, well, have any I charges been that. laid wendy have any charges of any at any of these events that you know of any charges been laid anyone been arrested for lewd and lascivious behavior or common body house no, because no one you could be arrested if you were nude in public you're not nude in public you're nude in a private event you're not near children. I mean, that's that. Yeah, that would be criminal. I mean, we're we're parents. We respect the boundaries of what society. I'm not going into his church, and you know, parading through it. And quite a few of the members are, whether he agrees with them or not, are devout Jews, Muslims, Hindus, Christians. Um, so okay. it's you know, we're mainstream it's horribly society. destructive. Okay. Uh, all right, we'll agree to disagree on this one. Uh, Charles McVitie, thank you. Wendy, thank you as well. And uh, I guess I say good luck and uh, keep it clean. Thank you, folks. Appreciate okay. it.